We are so excited to welcome into the Big East Digital Network, Liberty Field Hockey and the Big East Offensive Player of the Week, Beth Dykema. Beth, congratulations on the award. It's your first time in your career receiving this award. What does that mean to you? Thank you. First of all, um, I appreciate the the congratulations. And um, honestly, it's it was kind of a shock to me just because I am a defender. I'm a back. Um, so getting an offensive award was not something I'm typically used to. But I think um, in like set plays where I'm used a lot, I feel like that was kind of crucial in our wins against UVA. And also I'm on penalty corners against, you know, um, American and things like that. So it's just really cool to see kind of the fruits of the team's labor come out and both get offensive player of the week and defensive player of the week with Azul and Cage. So that's awesome. It is such an interesting award to be able to get, a, as you said, a defender. How would you, let's dive into your play a little bit. How would you describe how you are as a defender? Obviously a defender who can score some goals too. <laughs> yeah, um, I think I'm definitely more of an attacking mindset at defender. Um, I've kind of shifted more from a center back this season to a right back. So that is a more attacking side. Um, and then obviously like just penalty corners, that's something that I've been asked by my coaches to fine tune all summer, the whole time I've been here at Liberty. And it's just something that I have done in and out of practice and just gotten really, really good at. And, you know, when, when my play gets called, yeah, I'm pretty confident that I'm going to put it in the back of the net. So, you know, my coaches trust me when they make that call for me. Where do you think that confidence comes from? Um, I think we always talk about, you know, preparation is, you know, so important in high pressure situations. And, you know, we always talk about our practice environment is harder than our game day environment because we want those habits to come out in high pressure situations. So I think the coaches have done a really good job fostering that environment for me and just learning how to trust myself on the ball and trust myself that, you know, I've, I'm a fifth year. I've been, you know, around the block. I've seen some pretty high pressure situations and just knowing like I'm fully capable and I'm fully prepared for anything that is kind of thrown my way. Diving a little bit deeper into that, Beth, your fifth year, you've started throughout basically your entire career with Liberty. You, you got plenty of starts as a freshman as well. How has your game grown and, and where have you seen the biggest growth in your game from freshman season? I think um, just gamesmanship and understanding how to problem solve in a game. I think that's the biggest area of growth. In high school, I was always kind of a feisty player. And I feel like if you watch me now, I'm still pretty feisty on the field. Mm -hmm. um, so that hasn't changed too much, but just um, understanding like presses and outlets, how to like see those big picture from the back um, and really problem solve and more so like lead my team. I feel like I'm a pretty vocal person and coming in as a freshman, I wasn't the most vocal person, but now I feel like I've kind of stepped into that role the past couple of years and really been a, a constant voice on the field coming out of the back. And I think that's just an area of growth that I've seen in myself as an individual. Mm. What's it been like for you playing for Liberty Field Hockey? Oh, I mean, everything I could have asked for and more, honestly, you know, I got to play with all of my siblings um, in 2021, which I don't know who else can say that, you know, <laughs> like in the NCAA and any sport really, um, but not just playing with one sister or even two sisters, but having my brother on the team as well as a practice player, you know, it, it really is a family affair at that point. And, you know, I love every second of it and not even just my siblings on the team, but the culture and the environment that we have created here at Liberty is so, so special. And I, you know, you probably hear that all the time when you get on a phone call with someone from Liberty, but I, I can't um, overemphasize that enough. Just the way the coaches have poured in this program and really, you know, built something that is not just, um, culturally strong but also like a powerhouse in the world of field hockey now like we are now being a team that is not chasing anymore but being chased by other teams and I think that's kind of really cool just to be a part of that and be a part of a program that's making history you have to know a little bit more about your family all of you guys big field hockey players how did how did the Dykemas become this field hockey powerhouse of a family? <laughs> Who initiated it? Where did it come from? Why did the rest of you guys get on the field hockey bandwagon? <laughs> so honestly, I would give credit to my mom because when we were young, my dad was in the military. So we moved around a lot and 
she decided to homeschool us. It was just the easiest thing for her at that time um, because we were moving so much and she didn't want us changing schools all the time. Um, so when we were in Virginia, we got located in Virginia. She was like, well, I want the kids to do something for, you know, physical activity, you know, like make friends and things like that, just because it can be harder if you're homeschooled, if you don't have extracurricular activities. So she threw my older sister into this homeschool PE field hockey class and Ashley loved it. And she started to pick it up pretty quickly. And then I quickly followed in her footsteps. And then, you know, it was kind of a domino effect where everyone just started picking up a stick and was like, okay, like, I'm kind of good at this. You know, I could, <laughs> I could see this going somewhere. I don't think my parents could have actually envisioned it being where it is now with all of us and just the success like God has given us through the sport. Um, but it's been really cool to see, you know, from where we started to now where we're starting to finish off here. It's been awesome. When everyone's home for the holidays, do are we doing a little pickup game in the yard? Are we having shooting practice? What does this look like? <laughs> so we actually do have a water-based turf in our backyard. My dad is, he's phenomenal. He built it himself. Stop so it. we got, yeah, we got some old turf from a, I think it was Bucknell University or someone's old turf that they weren't using anymore. And he leveled out um, a part of our backyard and put that in, put in a cage and, a, you know, a back net so balls wouldn't go over to the neighbor's, you know, yard and stuff like that. But when we're home, it, we have actually done, like, a lot of shooting. I go out there with my brother a lot. I went out there um, last summer. I was in Lynchburg this summer, so I wasn't able to be with um, family at home. But um, even my dad has started to pick it up a little bit, which has been really, really cool because neither one of my parents played this sport in high school or even in college. Um, so my dad has started to pick it up a little bit and, you know, it's just really fun because it can be so competitive with us, but it's also just like, a um, bonding experience for us. Like we all share something so like cool and we're all so passionate about it that it's cool to just be able to go home and be like, Hey, like, let's go outside and hit around for a little bit. That's awesome. You're in your fifth year at Liberty. What are the hopes for you? once you've graduated from school and, and you've moved on? Yeah, um, so I am pursuing a master's in human performance. I had an undergrad in exercise science, so I'm kind of going the sports performance route. And long term, that's what I want to do. But I had a really cool opportunity this summer to compete in the Nexus Championship um, and actually get invited to go train with the women's national team in July, which was not an experience I could have predicted for myself and I really didn't think it would be an opportunity for me, but I've stayed in contact with the coaching staff there and just had some really good conversations about like, okay, after I'm done here at Liberty, what does that look like for me moving forward, potentially pursuing U.S. Um, aspirations and things like that. So that's kind of the next round, just kind of trusting God has a plan for it and he's going to lay it out for me when he wants. How did that experience this summer make you a better player? How are you already seeing it on, on the field this season? Yeah, I think um, even from Nexus up to, you know, being with the women's national team in, in that environment, um, I think it's really important that players hear from a different voice um, in their time in college. And that's why our coaches pushed going to Nexus, getting outside experience when you're home, just because when you're hearing the same three or four voices for four years, it can get a little redundant and not that they don't have new ideas, but it's always so good to learn from people who might have a different perspective. So I was coached by um, one of Delaware's assistant coaches at Nexus who has a different coaching philosophy than our coaches. So I got to take things away from him. And then even going into women's national team environment, that environment is just such a high level and the speed of the game is even faster than our environment, which college field hockey is pretty fast coming out of high school and club and all of that. But then to see like an even higher level at the international level was really cool because it challenged my decision making and my um, just basic stick skills and things like that. And I was able to actually see gaps in my own game that I might not have seen in Liberty's environment because of, you know, just it's the top 36 or whatever individuals in the U S you know, I'm playing and training against. So I got to see just like little areas of gaps that I need to grow in as an individual. And I think even coming back into preseason, I was already kind of faster and like my decision-making was quicker. So that's really cool to see it just kind of jump just from those quick experiences over the summer. 
And now your team is already 4-0 on the season, taking down number six, Virginia. You beat them 3-1 to this upcoming weekend. You've got a tough task with two top 15 teams. You have 14 Harvard, 13 Duke. When you look mm-hmm. at your team, and it's early, but what you've accomplished yeah. so far within those four wins and where you guys can grow, what does this Liberty field hockey team really bring to the field every game? I think um, a lot of heart and a lot of grit. I think if you watch any Liberty field hockey game, you're going to see people diving. You're going to see people saying the so what call that we preach every day in our environment. And I think just something we've talked about after these past couple games where it's been a little bit tighter than we probably want, we've talked about mental resiliency and how important that is to success. You know, like I talked about earlier, I've done how many reps in practice of a shootout or of a stroke or of a penalty corner. Like I should be fully equipped and be resilient in this environment now that there's actually something on the line. So I think that's something we've talked about a little bit after these past couple games and really been fine tuning in our own environment, putting us in really high pressure situations in practice makes us more resilient in the game. And I think that's just something I've seen come out. And another thing with this group, which I saw glimpses of in 2021, when we went all the way to the national championship was just like this group's ability to adapt and problem solve and work with each other. I think this team is a very selfless team when we want to be and when we choose to be. So I think if we continue to choose playing for the girls next to us and playing for the people on the bench and something bigger than ourselves, that's when we start to really pick up rhythm and catch fire. And that, that, you know, snowball effects just starts happening. That is special. And, and thinking of being selfless as a leader, you have to be selfless and and you are certainly one of the leaders on this team and especially being in your fifth year. I'm curious, who have you maybe taken under your wing as a defender? Yeah, I mean, I would say a lot of the underclassmen, um, specifically like that back five line, you know, Um, I have a lot of conversations with um, Gianna Miller as she's like a left back and that's a really stressful position to play sometimes. So I feel like I've given her a lot of challenge, but also a lot of support because I see really, really good things in her and I know she's going to go really far. So I've kind of poured into her on the field a lot. And then I just think about, you know, Kylie Faust, she redshirted last year, but she's just been blowing people away as like a screen and midfielder. And it's been really cool to just really work with her and encourage her and also challenge her as well. And I think that's something that as a leader I do, I would say well, is I provide a lot of challenge. I demand really high things out of my teammates, but I'm also like one of their biggest supporters. Like I will be screaming my head off if they're diving or if they're you know, scoring goals and things like that. Like I want to give them the challenge because I know that they can reach that goal, but I also want to give them the support along the way. And that's something that was given to me as a young athlete. And it really developed who I was. Um, So that's just something that I want to pour back into those younger players. Let's get to know you and your teammates a little bit more. We're back to school. Classes are in session. Who is the most organized on the team? Oh, I would for sure say Ellie Livingston. She is, she's a pre-med major. So she's (laughs) kind of got to be organized. Um, She's a big planner as well. And Mm. I mean, anything she does, I feel like she's just so organized. Mm. If you guys are going to have a big team dinner, who are you trusting to not only create the menu, but then also cook for everybody on the team? Oh, that is a good question. Well, I would say my house would host because my house is always a good host. Um, (laughs) I live with Lexi Hostler, um, Maitland, and then um, Martusian is now one of our roommates. So it's a fun house full of hockey girls, but cooking, I might put the Argentinians on top of that. They like to cook. Yeah. They love to cook. Yeah. (laughs) How about, um, we've got our uniforms on the field, but when you guys are going out, who is the fashionista on the team? Most stylish. Um, Most stylish. It depends on who you ask sometimes. I feel like everybody's different. But um, fair. fair. (laughs) I've heard that um, our transfer, Danny Ham, she has got some shoe game. I haven't yet to see it, but I I would put her on that, I think. (laughs) Best part about living with your teammates in college? 
Um, I would just say the conversations outside of hockey with them. Um, I mean, they're people that I trust with my life and, you know, people that I know 10 years from now, I could call up and be like, Hey, like I need this or that, or just to like catch up with them. They're people that I truly love and care about. And I think that God has like placed them in my life for a reason. And they've really helped me through some tough times and I've helped them through some tough times. So I think just having that bond that I don't think can be broken by, you know, little things. So. And it takes you light years on the field then when you're playing with one another. Absolutely. Finally, Beth, what are the goals for Liberty Field Hockey this season? Um, I mean, first and foremost, we want to glorify God and everything that we do. Like that's the foundation of this program, which, you know, if you talk to anybody, that's what people are going to say is like, we want to play for something bigger than ourselves. Even the girls that are not believers on the team, they understand they're playing for something bigger than themselves, which is really, really cool. But obviously we want to go three P with a big East championship. Um, I think going undefeated at home is something that I've kind of set for myself. I really want us to you know, protect the mountain. We always talk about all the athletics here is, you know, we want to protect the mountain here. And then obviously the goal is always going to be to compete for a national championship. And I think that should be the goal of every program that is, you know, environment, but that is for sure our goal this season. Well, we cannot wait to continue to watch and follow you guys along the way. Beth, thank you so much for joining me. Congratulations for you on the individual honors. Congratulations to your team for such an incredible 4-0 start to the early season. Best of luck this upcoming weekend. Thank you so much.